I mean, with 2,400 participants, surely in 40 minutes. Um, yeah, surely we must have great chances here. Um, all right. Here, let's go fix the board dimensions. Sorry about the confusion here. Oh. Uh, apparently, oh, there we go. Board geometry, board size. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, let's take one of these. Here we go. Easy chess. Queen e2 check. Queen e2 check, please. There we go. Just to make things as confusing as possible. Now we pin the queen. Now that wasn't very subtle. Oh, well, I guess this works. Victory is mine. <laughs> Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, we'll proceed this way, I guess. I debated bishop takes f2 first, but this is more forcing, if only because it's difficult for the king to escape in a timely fashion. Um, like, this extra tempo doesn't help white at all. Whereas taking on f2 would allow king d1 and then king c2, which makes it a little bit easier for white to escape. So we want to delay bishop taking on f2. That's also possible I might want to play like bishop b4 check and then queen takes f2 instead. Um, it's also possible that our opponent might be pretty upset with us right about now. It's hard to tell. Uh, okay, let's just develop. All right, we gotta hit this bishop here and then bring our other bishop out. Don't even wanna trap the bishop. Where's the fun in that? We just wanna take everything. All right, king there. Honestly, trapping the bishop is starting to look tempting. Knight a6 is probably stronger, threatening knight b4, but my main threat is rook c8, which I hope to do with tempo. Let's take one of those. Check. Now, if the king abandons the b-pawn, we take the b-pawn. Otherwise, the bishop on f2 is kind of a target. Um, in this position, oh, I'd like to play rook c2, but that would hang my rook. Oh, details. Such wonderful tactical nuances. All right. Um, there we go. I'm guessing king g3. I suspect there's a mate if he takes that, right? There's got to be a mate. What justice would there be in the chess world if there weren't some checkmate somehow here? Uh, is this mate? Yeah, we got it. Nice. All right. We gained 500 places in 10 minutes there at this rate. Um, 500 places every 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll make first place in no time. Easy peasy. I'm guessing opposition will stiffen a little bit after that last game. We'll see. Now, granted, there are two other streamers playing in this same event, so I don't expect too many people to be watching this as opposed to the other people playing, but 
you're still welcome to come by and chat and have some fun here. Let's go Berserk. We have no idea who our opponent is. And here we go. Ooh, let's play the elephant. This is the elephant, right? Or is this the England? I think this is the England. It's a very confusing gambit. And I admit I don't know any of it, so chances are I'm going to lose this. Like, I know he takes there, I push this pawn, he pins it or something, and I, I don't know. I do something. Here, let's hit this knight. That looks like a constructive thing to do. Beautiful. Man, I should play this more often. <laughs> so, um, weekend is almost here, guys. What are you guys going to do? So I'm expecting bishop c4, which I'll counter with bishop g4, and then he'll dance his bishop back to e2, and I'll go back to f5 or something. With this little bishop dance. Or I could chuck in rook e8 or rook f8. I don't know. Oh, okay, rook e8 it is. That makes decision making a lot easier. Um... Now, how do we develop? Let's take one of these. Hidden point is queen h4 check. Um, this looks too fun to refuse. And then we take here check. This was the key. This is the culmination of the whole idea with uh, bishop g4, is that I just have so many pieces developed, and white has one piece developed, so sucks to be white. Um, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that is too beautiful. I'm actually kind of proud of that. I don't know if I should be. There we go. Let's bookmark that game. Back to the tournament we go. So, see, like, 500 places in 10 minutes, 500 places in another 10 minutes. Gosh, we're on a roll, or on our way to the top. You think we could win this? Yeah, late joining these events can be great fun. Uh, I don't mean to pick on players who are struggling in, in the tournament. Um, I just mean to, like, accidentally in one of these last few round games go berserk against some super grandmaster or something like that. And, I don't know. That could be pretty entertaining. Um, but no, this is an interesting opportunity to try openings. I don't typically play against people my own rating level. And to try going berserk, which is something I don't do all the time either. Yeah. Glad to hear we're all on the same page here. You probably missed it, but we started the tournament in like 2,000th place, and now we're in 1,000th place, like 15 minutes into playing. All right, and now we're in 750th. Gosh, yeah, like I'm saying, we're, we're going to win this. We are so going to win this. Let's go, go, go. I should just install that script I wrote for automatically going berserk. Knight of three? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. I shouldn't be preying on people's ratings. Um, now this is, I mean, this is a good silly opening to play, right? Okay, take my e-pawn. See if I care. Alright, I guess he bishop takes. Now why didn't that pre-move? I don't get it. Okay, so queen b5 check is the point. I've always wondered why this opening doesn't work. Now I know. 
Yeah, that's the subtle point. Huh, I wonder what's up with my mouse. It doesn't seem to be pre-moving at all. When I try to pre-move. Alright, so... Let's go after this knight. And if he castles... Oh, we don't win material, but I thought we did. But no, we don't. Alright, so... Yeah, now I know why this opening doesn't win. Okay, so now I just have to survive the endgame somehow. Um, Alright, so do I play my rooks to e8 and d8, or where am I going to go with them? I want to play f5, but it's just nuts. It's too crazy even for me. Um, I want to put my knight on g3, but there's no way to get there. I want to play bishop d4, except that's no good either. Um, okay, so rook e8 is something we play regardless of where all the other pieces go. This actually opens f8 and e6 for the knight. Alright, so back we go. And then the e6 and f4, or who knows where. Okay. It's going to play knight f5. Yep. It doesn't actually do anything, but it does look intimidating. Um... I could snap it at any point, but I don't know that I want to. I'm still debating do I play a5 or not, but that looks too weakening. Um, Alright, so, we got a knight move. We got another knight move. Fine, I'll trade my bishop. If you want my bishop that bad, take it. I thought you wanted it. Do you not want it? I'm letting you take the bishop pair. And all I get in exchange is a knight that's almost on my sixth rank. I mean, knights aren't tricky pieces, are they? Are you afraid of a knight? Who's afraid of a knight? No, you should probably just take it and play king g2. But... I'm not going to tell him that. He's got to figure it out. Okay. We're well, going to see king g2 now. If we do, I suppose I play stuff like h5 and a5, just trying to destabilize stuff. Actually, I'd like to have the knight on f4. Yeah, let's back up. So on f4, I'm threatening a fork, hitting this bishop, as well as the pawn here, but that doesn't matter so much. I've activated my rook by running away. Okay, and now I'm going to try to open this, which is probably going to backfire, to be honest, but, you know, we started playing the England, so you have to know that things are going to backfire at some point when you play a busted opening. Um, yeah, no, my opponent's actually taking his time and pacing himself really excellently. It's quite impressive. He might get into time pressure at some point, but I'm mostly, I'm almost always of the opinion that taking time is a good thing. Oh, fudge. That's not good. Okay, he missed it. Um... We're going to run away and actually defend this knight. Uh, which he could have just pinned in one last turn, but he didn't see it. Um, now he could play rook h1 to try to make my like, life difficult, but he didn't see that either. So I've stepped out of the pin. I can play bishop g8 next if he attacks my bishop. I do have a way to try to unwind from this. But my pieces are pretty inactive, in general. Um, that seems scary. Alright, this will defend. This defends the f7 square. So then I can unwind, even though I'm not threatening to take on e4 anymore. Oh, we're going to liquidate, apparently. Um, sure, why not? 
This lets me, oh, I thought I was going to take this pawn at a2, and maybe I will in the long term, but in the short term it's kind of a far distance away. Um, nope. Yeah, you can tell I'm on my guard here. <laughs> uh, I'm not immediately hanging pieces, I'm hanging them very slowly. Um... Okay, so if he takes this, it's a messy endgame. If he doesn't take it, it's still a messy endgame. Basically, all his pawns are on light squares. So, oh, okay, that's one answer, is to trade a bishop for a knight and get a wide open position which does not favor your remaining knight. Possibly better would be trying to exchange bishops. Um which has some tactical points as well. That you don't have to worry about as many things. Um, but this is reasonable. Note, I've been playing very quickly, but I've not yet caught up on the clock. You have to go really quickly to actually catch up on the clock. Now I'm debating, like, is my king safer on g7 or e7 when he checks me? I think g7. Um, Alright, so we lift the rook, get it out of that mess. Now he could play knight c3, but then we take the pawn. He can't block on the rank, but he could play rook e1. But that would loosen this knight a little. Oh, then there's that. Um, so, ay ay ay. Okay, this looks fine. Now, what's he gonna do? He's got like, all of his things are hanging. Okay, that's a reasonable reply. Um, I guess he gets the bishop back, which I'm not too thrilled about, but I don't have much of a choice. If he pins that, uh, I guess I... okay, he's not pinning it. Um, let's see. Check. Now do I take on... C no, I, I do this first. We try to keep the hope alive. Um, so if I can get my king to d4, things change a little bit. Or honestly, if I can get um, it to f4. Oh, I should not have done this immediately. I just jeopardized my chances here. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not good. Okay, so I have to check him away, and then I can play rook a3 and not lose this. I don't know that I have winning chances anymore. Um, I have to nail this down before the pawn advances any further. However, unless he plays like rook f5 check, I can't win this. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have to settle for a draw. Well, so much for winning this tournament. Uh, do I go king f6? Do I be greedy? Oh, he claims a draw. Interesting. I didn't think about that. How'd he claim a draw there? I guess we saw that position three times or something, but has user preference set to not auto-claim threefold. All right, we are still going to win this tournament somehow. All right, Scandinavian time. Let's play this gambit. Oh, wow. I did not expect to get away with this. Okay. I think that's the Icelandic gambit. Never played it before. I've seen it played, but I don't remember any of the theory. I was hoping to learn something here, but um, 
Okay. Yeah, our last opponent was pretty decent. Okay, we've got a pawn running. The problem is that pawn can't go any further. The other problem is that my opponent's not developing. So, this is not going to end well for him. Um, do I take that? I guess I have to. And I guess this is a fork. I guess uh, he's going to take and I have to take back. Yeah, no, I, we got this, guys. Um, we're totally going to win this tournament. Maybe I should have taken c3. Now he's trying to do something... Oh, he actually did do something clever. Okay, now I'm threatened with a fork. Okay, we'll just watch him take my doubled pawn, because I don't think he has anything better to do here. Ah, these guys have smartened up a little bit. Yeah, we got 3D pieces. I just wish we had like an awesome combination of 3D set and 3D board and a slight 3D perspective that would show us like as if we we're not like overhead on the board, but we're looking at it from an angle. That would be cool. And the pieces would enlarge as they approach the bottom rank and reduce in size as they approach the top rank, you know. Uh, the whole vanishing point perspective thing. But as it stands, we've got 3D pieces on a 2D board. So it looks kind of weird, I guess. Now, um, I want to take this pawn, but I also want to try to trap this knight. But it's like the easiest thing for him to evacuate if he just plays b3, which he doesn't want to do. Um, okay, so if I take the pawn, he plays f4. Subtle. Subtle little tactic. Here he could actually play b4, but then I take his bishop with check. Which I didn't see until after I moved. Um, I'm not sure I've heard that before. Maybe I have, I just don't remember it. Okay. F3? Always play F3. And then I can just plunk my knight over here. And I guess take the bishop or something. I guess what we're saying is that I'm taking my commentary one move at a time. Um, Wait, do I, have, do I draw like multiple arrows with this? Oh, I drew F, okay, that's why it looks so weird. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I tend to think that also his uh, comments run a lot deeper. Like I'm doing this pretty sur superficially, if you can't uh, tell at the moment. Whereas he sees all these really fantastic combinations and stuff and um, I don't know how he, like, it's always a very entertaining show when he's playing. I'm actually quite impressed just how many combinations show up in his games. Um, oh. Okay, a lot of things are going on here. First thing is that um, this does not lose my rook. So I can take that. And that's a free pawn. Second thing is that this knight is almost trapped, but not quite. The third thing is if he castles queenside, I take on f2, and I guess we exchange rooks, and that's okay. But if he 
castles kingside, we hit the bishop. And if he takes on b7, I take his rook and then play rook b8. Uh, or even rook b5 is probably better. Um, no, they're probably both okay. All right. So that's a check. And then we win a pawn. Actually, this is not, well, it's not directly winning a pawn. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? I thought I would just take on b2. I think that's another difference is that, like, um, I mean, yes, sometimes I gloriously hang pieces, but most of the time I'm paying a lot of attention to um, the possibility of me hanging something. Um, it's a very uninteresting way to play. Um, <laughs> oh, let's not do that. You see, like, as I'm doing that commentary, um, some of you saw that. That's what they call ironic. When you're talking about not making mistakes, and while you're talking, you've distracted yourself into making a mistake. Um, but I did not fall for that. Then again, I don't tend to go berserk very often, so it gives me a lot more time to think about my moves. Um, so I don't know if that's entirely fair in terms of a apples to apples comparison. Uh, okay, let's defend this and then watch as he races these pawns down the board as I attempt to checkmate. Oh, did I say these pawns? I think I meant that pawn. Unless he plays rook a7, in which case he might have multiple pawns. All right, so yeah, it seems he might have more than one pawn. Um, I think I still want to go with this. It seems crazy enough. Uh, an alternative would have been rook c5 trying to mate down the side of the board, but I don't think that works. Um, I just want to dislodge the knight so that my rooks are free to roam about the center and cause all kinds of havoc. Also, I want to have a very active king. Some would say you can have a king that's too active. I would disagree. Only because we're doing a show here and this is entertaining. So I just play king f4, king f3. This king moves away, I play king f2. Then king f1, and we promote. We get another king. No. Um... He seems not to be allowing that. All right, so I suppose he's going to try to check me or something. So let's race this down the board. Unfortunately, I have to start playing good moves at some time uh, during this game. And I guess that sometime has to start soon or uh, my chances slip away. Oh, he's intending rook a5. Check that out. Okay. Um, hmm. This is not good. Yep, yep, yep. So, I bet he's unflattered by my finding this defense. Because why else would you bring your king up to g3? That's super suspicious. Why? Unless you're trying to do something involving an active king. So now we just push. And he's got to push his a pawn to support the b pawn racing up the board. And I'm able to push down the king's side and pretend I have an attack going here. You'll pretend with me, right? Um, it's probably just going to play knight c5. 
So my attack had better crash through like now. Now would be a good time for my attack to be successful. Um. Here, check. Check. Who doesn't like pawns? All right. Um, I'm tempted to play f5. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, yes, I see that my bishop is basically hanging, however this goes, but this lets my other rook to get to uh, d2. And then maybe I play bishop d5 to follow or something. Oh, I've trapped my king. That would be the worst thing that could happen here. Okay. That's not good. Um, uh, this is not good. <laughs> we did it on purpose. Just have faith. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> um, there's not even a stalemate trap. That's the worst part of it all. Like, I wish there were... I could claim that I had it planned the entire time. But, no, it's not so simple. Alright, so he's only had three pawns. And a minute. Um, and ten seconds. But, um, I don't know, we got an entertaining game out of it. I got to hang my bishop twice in a row and advance my king to f4. Um, I mean, are you really playing chess if your king doesn't make it to f4? You should just like, well, I would say you should play rook f1, but then do bishop c4. Yeah, it's not over yet. Huh. If he does knight h5, I'm debating, do I take the pawn or do I play king g5 with the intent of king h4? Which seems super trolly, but might actually be the better option, just so I have a... Oh, never mind. We're not going that way. Now, do I check or do I play uh, bishop c4? Um, I don't know if the check helps him. I think I need the tempo. I think checking him would just put his king on a safer square. I need the rook takes f2 check tempo for my attack to have any chance. Alright, so we'll take one of these. Threaten mate. Um, check. All right, do I not have a mate here? I do not have a mate. That's unfortunate. He's got to play rook h7, um, or that. Now he's got to play rook h7. Um, oh, I'm down to eight seconds. Maybe I should move faster. Maybe I should move faster. Oh, 
Oops. I might not be winning this. Yeah, okay, so we didn't win that. Going berserk is not a winning strategy. Hey, we got an opponent. Let's go berserk. Maybe I should have resigned that last game. That might have been a polite thing to do. Queen h4? Oh, no queen h4. When are they going to play the fun stuff? Let's take this. I only do that because there's like three minutes left in this tournament. And so, you know, if I'm going to win this um, in the next three minutes, something pretty drastic's got to happen. This might not be good. This might be double plus on good. Um, but we tried. <laughs> That's about the most positive thing I can say about this position is that an attempt was made. Uh, wait, this hits the rook. He's got to do bishop d7 here. He finds it. Um, he's got to do I don't know what here something constructive. Um, and then I can take on e6 and h6. He's probably going to step out of this pin though. Yeah, so then we just develop and have to play normal chess, which means I lose. Uh, somehow. Um, well, our tournament's going to end in the next minute, and he's not moving quickly, so rip my chances of winning the tournament. Why did I not do rook takes? Well, no, I didn't do rook takes because I'm setting up a cheap bow with that pin, but he saw it. Um, okay, so... Um, I don't know, I need to develop the rook now. Yep, that's a check. That is definitely a check. Um, but now I've got 94 silliness um or 96 here i'm threatening bishop takes h6 which is not so easy to meet oh he found a way to meet it though damn well i tried i so tried oh man this is painful. So we got to go back and tournament's over. And now we just lose. Um, unless we win on time. Well, we're down four points. Um, but my king's not made it yet, so... Silver lining something? I don't know. Uh, I have not lost my rook yet. If you played knight g4 first, this would have been a lot more menacing. As it is, this is just a slow, painful death. So, silver lining. Uh, okay. See, I get to break up his pawns if he doesn't play b4. Uh, who would play b4 there? Somebody interested in winning the game. Okay, 
Let's, let's deal with that. Um, he's only six points ahead. We got this, guys. We've so got this. We might not have this. Oh, he's got C2 check. That's a little painful. Okay. Um, come on. Oh, wait, H7 is not defended. There's no trap here without H7 being defended. Ah, bummer. Okay, well, let's defend h5. And this provokes king d6, of course, but um, what can you do? All right, so down here. And this removes most of the traps in the position, unfortunately. Am I going to win this? Oh, no, never mind. He found a way to promote. It's about time. Okay. He's only ahead, like, 13 points. It's no big deal. It's basically an even game. Oh, other than that little detail. Yeah, well, all right, so that's the yearly classical arena. We finished in the top 1,000. Uh, we even finished in the top 700. Not bad. Even though we lost, like, all the classical rating points ever. Which I guess is to be expected, given the way I was playing that. Um, it was entertaining. All right. Is there not another classical event to immediately follow it? Hmm. What a conundrum. All right, we'll make a tournament. Oh, right, the make a tournament button's over here. Um, <laughs> I need a name for this. Uh, not yearly classical. There we go. Um, no. Uh, yeah, that's just too hokey. All right, we'll just name it after a random Grandmaster. Um, Chess 960 rated quarter minute Chess 960. No increment. Duration 20 minutes. Starting soon. Oh, 15 second variant games cannot be rated. Okay. Smirin Arena. An excellent idea. Quarter minute chess 960. Um, you didn't know you needed it, but no, you really do need it. Let me go see if I can link to this. Where is my smear in arena? Ah, here it is. Oh, how appropriate. The tournament insignia is a die. Um, yeah, the, the die is very much cast here. Uh, by positional play, a master tries to prove and, explo and exploit true values. Whereas by combinations, he seeks to refute false values. A combination produces an unexpected reassessment of values. Values, values, values. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best translation. It seems a bit literal. Um, perhaps there's a more poetic way to translate that. But 
Yeah, I suppose by... Oh, no, I guess the contrast in this statement, which is a bit tricky to um, identify, given that it's split across the first five lines of the sentence. Um, the contrast is between positional play and combinatoric play, um, where positional play is, um, I guess, not involving combinations. So that he's basically saying there are two ways to play uh, chess, positionally or tactically. And that the latter produces an unexpected reassessment of values. Hmm. Well, I guess if nobody joins, that just makes me the winner. Um, I'm going to have to try this again, like, I don't know, Friday or Saturday or something. Just to see uh, if anybody's interested in this sort of uh, event. Huh, I wonder. I've not actually done much chess 960 with the engine. Now, I know it would beat me on time if we play a game that's like bullet without increment. Um, but I'm curious if I could take it um, at some AI level, if we have an increment, uh, even for bullet, maybe I could beat it. It would be challenging. And I certainly wouldn't be beating it at level eight, but I could maybe give it a, a bit of a contest at other levels. Man, the uh, other thing here is I kind of wish, like, the chess pursuit um, thing that you see on, uh, what was it? I would say the 404 page. Is that where we find it? Yeah. Chess pursuit is only on the 404 page. And if you don't know where to find that, type in leechess.org slash 404. And that'll redirect you to the 404 page. Um... Oh, we had a spectator there for a minute. A spectator by the name of One Second Player. Well, yeah, I guess he's not joining. Yeah, but it'd be cool if uh, Chess Pursuit were somehow featured center screen in the middle of these tournaments. In fact, I could probably make a user script that just injects that into any page. Um, which reminds me, there was some interest in people being able to, um, oh, I've already forgotten now. Wonderful. Somebody was asking for some kind of favor related to something. I'm trying to remember what. Um, yeah, I don't remember offhand. I know somebody was interested in the Windows executable nine, build for eight, Stockfish. Seven, I still have to look six, into that. Five, four, three, three two, two, one, one zero. zero. Dun, 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 dun. You are the winner. Okay, so that didn't go so well. Um, now let's play with the machine. 960. Real time. One plus one, or half plus one, quarter plus one, or actually just do zero plus one. That's like 10 seconds. Sure, I'll take white. Oh, three seconds. Holy moly. Okay. Get your mouse pad ready. Thankfully, there's a one second increment, so I have some chance of not, like, dying instantly. Um, okay, so I got a pawn. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I walked into a pin. Uh, we're defending our stuff, getting not mated. I forgot how castling works. Um, I think this is a fork. Let's def oh, okay, get out of that. Defend this. Get the rook out of on pre. Hit the knight. Take the knight. 
maybe be able to do something not terrible soon. Okay, so take that over here. It's not a free pawn, but I thought it was. Um, work over here. Work up this way. Uh, free this. Except that's not free. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. AI level 1's kicking my butt. Um, but it lacks long-term planning for that pawn push. That was a really long-term plan. I thought I had a mate here. Uh, do I have a mate here? That's not mate. That only looks like checkmate. Alright, that's a check. That's a check. Yay! We got it! Whew! That only took 67 moves. Wow. Okay. Easy peasy. Alright. You asked for it, Stockfish. Actually, no you didn't, but we're gonna give you it any- oh, can I mouse behave, please? Um, okay, so- oh, crap. Uh, here, here, let's attack. Uh, I lost a piece, lost something else, take that. I can't take it. Alright, so take this now. Free- oh, crap. Alright, so there, uh, over there, over here, over here, take one of these. Oops, well this might not be going so well. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, Alright, we might not be winning this. We might... okay. We tried though, we didn't lose on time. Um, no, we gotta win this with black. We've gotta win this with black, guys. Um, chess is hard. Has anybody ever told you that? Because they would be correct. Oops, that's not legal. Um, that's... oh boy. Nah! Trying to confuse me with these bullet tactics, Stockfish. How dare you? Ah, oh, crap. I, the only reason I played that is because my mouse is sticking, so I need to, like, finish a move if I start it. Um, oh. Well, okay. This might be too much. But seriously, is this level one? Let's do some analysis. Like, what the heck is going on here? Am I just that bad? Uh, seriously. I want to know Stockfish's blunder count. Like, if it doesn't have at least a single mistake, I would be concerned. It's probably making mistakes, but they're so subtle. Something just seems really weird and off about this. Oh, uh, one second, 960. I mean, it seemed like it was chess, and then I started loot. Okay, so it made like three blunders. I, okay. How come I can play this against humans, but I can't play it against stockfish? That's crazy. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, no, it played four blunders and four mistakes, so it did try to lose. I just tried harder, apparently. Hmm. Also, my mouse is sticking, um, so I'll blame that. All right, so um, hmm. Okay, let's try this. Help if my mouse didn't stick. Okay, here we go. It's a fork. We go back. Now it's playing a lot of really sane and tricky moves. Um, I don't understand. Like, is it normally the strong at AI level one, or has something changed? Does this need to be recalibrated somehow to? be more blunderific. Um, ok, 
Okay, or blunderous, I suppose, would be the appropriate adjective. Uh, I don't seem to have lost this, though. Wait. No. <sighs> okay, what happened there? Ah, where's my developer council? What happened? Couldn't load require from you. I mean, I get that. That's my, like, um, user highlighter thing, but no, do I not have an error in my console? Not a single error in my console. Get a warning. But that warning is just having to do with my um, user style, user script. I was robbed. Okay, what's my lag? Oh, man. Like, you saw that. I was doing Rook D1 and... Uh, did I do something? Yeah, no, I get that. I just saw that I had, like, Rook D1 and I was... Like, I had played Rook D1. I pre-moved Rook D8. It's basically at that point I can't lose the game unless I time out. And there wasn't a faster checkmate available. Well, no, there was. I had bishop e3 and then queen a7, but... Man, what a way to time out. Incredible. Um, that my network split just that one precise instant that I'm starting to checkmate Stockfish. It guts the cord on me. Um, I mean, I'm blaming my internet, but I'm not blaming Leechess because it's probably my internet. But man, of all the moments for that to disconnect. Oh well. Um, so... Let's play a Blitz game. This should be a lot more sane. Go figure. I start this session by trying to win some classical games by going Berserk. Then I try to do some uh, quarter minute 960. Then I'm trying to beat Stockfish and it network disconnects me at just the wrong instant. Um, and here we are, we're going to play, um, whoever it is here, we're going to play some 3-2, which means I don't need to, like, play every move instantly, but I just happen to know what I want to play here. Um, and what we're playing is a King's Indian defense, minus the all the challenging stuff, because my opponent squandered a tempo here somewhere. Um... All right, so I take you, uh, and then I guess I'm just going to put my piece on d4 and say forget all the normal King's Indian stuff. I have the d4 square. Um, It seems like between that and my decent piece activity and my ability to play h6 and kick this bishop, I'm actually doing pretty great here. Yeah, I don't believe in that knight move. Am I getting my queen trapped or something? I don't think so. Let's just We have to go queen f7, because if queen d6, he plays knight uh, 3 to e4. Oh, but I've walked into a pin. Hmm. <laughs> this not this is not my knight. I mean, that knight is not going to be my knight for very long either, but I seem not to be playing very well at the moment. Hmm. I don't understand. All right, well, let's just develop. 
Well, I guess part of my understanding should be that I'm not the greatest chess player ever. Sometimes it feels that way, but um, usually I have a sense of humility. Um, part of it is that I'm narrating while I'm playing, which always deducts from players' strength, but yeah, part of it's that I'm just playing Blitz games online, and it's not for anything more than just Blitz points. Um, so I'm not especially motivated to try to win it. Yep, let's see, take this. And I'm actually more motivated than anything else to just see what happens if I play this move. Uh, it's just for blitz points. I mean, and I can always regain them. If by no other strategy than having lost enough blitz points to get against an opponent who also can give the points back. So, yeah, it's not like points are something I'm able to hold on to forever. Now, I'm curious why he hasn't just stamped the knight on d6. Have I lost my network connection again? If so, that'd be an unfortunate uh, circumstance. But more likely, he's just debating, does he want to run away? And then, yeah, I mean, there's no point in not taking it. Um... All right, so we've got the center. We've got bishop d4, which is a pretty thematic move. Um, just don't have anything else. So that makes this a bit challenging, especially when I hang my pawn. I thought I had bishop e8. I hallucinated. Uh, so he's going to take my bishop, and I can't block without hanging my rook. And now he's going to lift his rook, and I'm just dead. I mean, I could play my rook f7, rook g7, or I could play even king h1, and I'm just so, super dead. Um, I've given up my good bishop. There's the only positive aspect in this position is the clock adjacent to the board. And honestly, that's not nearly enough to compensate for all the things that are hilariously wrong about my position. On the bright side, um, all my moves are forced, so it's not like I have to think about them. Um, I would say that's an original thought, but um, it's not. It's something I've read about. I forget who the author was. There was some grandmaster who wrote a book analyzing games of strong chess players. And wait, was this Grandmaster Nun, perhaps, who said, or was this the author of The Seven Deadly Chess Sins? Yeah, no, I think this was Rosen. R-O-W-S-O-N. Um, he was pointing out that a player who had blundered in a position um, now no longer had uh, the burden of having to defend his pieces because there weren't so many pieces left. So this frees him up to just play what he wants. Um, okay, so here we go. Not a whole lot going for us here. That's a check. That's a pawn. Um, all right, that's the bishop. I saw this, like he had that knight check, he had a rook check, he had numerous checks in that position. And it all looked scary, but I needed the bishop, so I didn't have a choice. Um, Alright, he's going for a rook e8 cheapo, which I deny. Um, All right, I guess we have to move the bishop somewhere. Whatever will we do? All right, let's check here. Let's check there. Yeah. I 
Oh, he wants a rematch. Okay, let's do a rematch. And transpose into this. Bishop g4 is book. Uh, okay, so then we just develop. And it's just a pretty typical queen's gambit position. So, yep, he steps out of that uh, pin and into this pin or discovery thing. But I've actually won in this position before by just playing bishop c2 and queen d3. And then it's kind of difficult to meet the threat on the king's side. Also, I'm threatening bishop takes f6 here, as well as knight b5. So it's not an easy position to find a good move. Okay, so do I just take on f6? I mean, I've got so many ideas here. Taking an f6 is tempting. Bishop c2 is tempting, but then that encourages... Well, no, g6 would drop the knight. Um, I don't want the bishop pair. Yeah, let's just go back. Okay, so that does deal with the bishop takes f6 threat in kind of a permanent fashion. Um, let's just play queen d3, see what he does. Alright, so now he's got knight b4, forking my queen and bishop. So, oh, he's got bishop f5 also. Um, I don't know, let's hit the rook. And... Maybe now I do something clever. This seems okay. So I just grab the bishop pair, and then we play out a very exciting endgame. Oh. Oh. Details. Um, rook takes queen doesn't quite work. Uh, okay, we'll concede that. You got it, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is not exactly my knight. Um. Hmm. You know, if this were a different server, I would just switch to playing checkers right now, you know? Hmm. So... What to do? I would say I'm going to play like Crazy House or something like that, but that doesn't seem like such a good idea. Um, okay, let's create a game. What'll it be? Um, yeah, I don't know. King of the Hill's good fun, but I'm going to lose all my rating points if I just keep playing this stuff. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I saw Zug's four-way chess thing the other night. That was pretty awesome. Wait, how do I dismiss this dialogue? Can I not dismiss that? Can I cancel it? I can escape to get out of it. All right, uh, let's try that. Four-player chess. Like, this requires calculation ability. I mean, yeah, maybe it does. Maybe. Okay, I gotta log in. Found the login button. BRB here. Okay. Uh, how do I want to crop this? If I remember right, I needed a different crop for this site. Now, where, where's my chat window? Is that... Okay, yeah, that's a 24 pixel thing at the bottom. And if I put my browser in no crop mode... Um, like that. Maybe this will turn out a little bit better. 
So you've read all read the rules here. I understand. This is a privilege, not a right and whatever. Sure. Okay, we're gonna win this. Maybe. Probably not. We're gonna try. Hmm. I get the sense that all of this could have gone better somehow. Alright, so... We are the second weakest link. Um... Okay. Let's just develop the queen pawn. It seems to be a fun thing to do. Ah. The queen bishop pawn. Well, if he can do that, surely I can do it. Oh no, I'm in check. Whatever will I do? Actually, that's a pretty mean thing to do, because now blue can just take my bishop. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Okay, let's concede. You guys win. Let's see the rest of this. Only because I'm, like, super outrated by all the players at this table. Um, actually, this is a way to get revenge on blue here. Blue took my bishop, so I'm giving green my king. Just to mess with blue. We'll say that's why it happened. Oh, I could even type stop chat there to make everybody stop chatting. Yeah, 20 points to green. I need to get a glass of water. Let's do that. <laughs> wow. Uh, so red gets a double check there. Oh, green actually is out, too. Wow. Okay, well, that's special. So red wins by default. Because red's going to take both kings. And then red could just win by resigning. <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah, red just wins. It's like not even a contest. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, so blue is reconnected and gets his entire minute back on the clock. Because, you know, that's how things work. Although, no, then his time goes down to five seconds mysteriously. Um. Okay, still, red can take the green king and then take the blue queen. And red should just win. Especially because blue has five seconds left and red is rated 1500. Okay, so, but now red can just take the pawn over here. Okay, blue has to recapture the bishop, of the, well, or the king. There we are. 31 points. Blue's going to go to 30. And then red's going to go capture the rook in the corner. Assuming red doesn't get mated or something first. 
Um, ooh, I would have developed this knight, though, to defend the pawn. Red's king is not the safest. Um, so, I don't understand what's going on here. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then you take the bishop. But yeah, had I known the player to my left was going to be a dick right in the opening, like he should have been, but if I knew he was going to do that, um, I might have played a different opening move. Oh, now red loses his queen. If blue takes it, um, okay. We still have pawn takes queen on the table. There it is. <sighs> well, um, red has blundered this almost as badly as I did. There we go. So, yep. All right, let's play a game. Pawns, you know, nobody knows how they move. It's an urban legend that they go forward two squares at once. Um, okay, so now I'm the strong player at the table. Team again? Alright, red and yellow are apparently a team. Assuming yellow moves. Did the server go down? Well, yeah, that, I mean, if Blue hasn't figured that out... If Blue hasn't figured that out, shame on him. And there's no way he's going to be attacking me. But... Oh. Okay, well, that's special. All right, so, so much for that game. I don't know if the server went down or what happened there. We had some pretty great moves, like pawn and another pawn move. Um, truly fascinating stuff. Well, yeah, I think cross teams make good sense, honestly. Wait, where'd my avatar go? Am I not part of this mix? Strange. Oh, there's my avatar. It's from an album cover. Um, there's no way anybody recognizes that, but uh, it's a pretty cool album. I suppose at this point I'm obligated to tell people what it is. Now that I mentioned that, okay. Here we go. Pawn move. Go pawn go. Yeah! We got a pawn race on our hands. And blue's stuck. Huh. <laughs> or we just keep going, you know? We've taken this to its logical extreme. And then perhaps a bit too far. Oh, are we going to see symmetric play here? No, that's not symmetric at all. Um, so, uh, I don't have anything super clever to do here. Let's just push a pawn. Uh, 
Wow, red retreats. Blue surely is going to take that. Or just let yellow promote. Um. Yeah, we got a pawn, guys. That didn't get confusing at all. Now that's like the dumbest move you could possibly make here, because it lets... Well, no, it's not the dumbest, but it's pretty high up there. It almost lets red promote with impunity. If red promotes, blue promotes. And everybody's not happy. Well, blue's kind of happy. For an instant, until red takes his queen. Alright, so red is trying to be tricky here. Oh, is yellow going to take that? That would not make me too excited. Alright, so... Now red promotes. Or, yeah, does the sensible thing. Like I was saying. Nice. Alright, just defend our stuff, you know. Play some... What would you even call this opening? I would say it's a Hungarian or a Philidor or something. But I'm not sure what to call it. Oh. I could also call it a peekaboo if I just take on this square here. And yellow didn't anticipate it at all. Ah, yellow has anticipated. All right, so so much for subtlety there. Um, nobody knows how pawns move, but they seem to keep track of how queens and other pieces move. Yep, so blue just gets a queen. Um, am I supposed to feel bad about that? Yeah, yellow just kind of let that happen. It's like, not my problem, man. Alright, so blue is having some fun. Um, Alright, let's push this pawn. Not at all because we're making a subtle cheapo to like hit the rook or anything. It's just that we want to develop our pawns. You know, that important thing about pawns being the soul of chess or something. Um, is red going to time out? No, red, no. Oh. Red has resigned. This is unbelievable. We're just letting blue run away with this. It's like everybody's teamed up to let blue win. Um, okay. Well, fine. If that's how you want to play it can just let blue win. I kind of want to make yellow suffer here. Hmm. Subtle threat on the blue knight. Oh, it's actually subtle enough that blue missed it. Okay. Um, of course, blue could have just counted on that. Um, hmm. That's kind of a problem. Fine. You suck. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just running away. Okay, so now he's threatening mate on me. I would say that's not cool, but it actually kind of is. 
one step closer to this misery ending. Oh, actually, this would be a good way to defend against that mate. Because if he goes queen there, we just take the queen. An excellent defensive try. All right. So he's going to castle. Um, fine. Whatever. Clearing the way for the knight to move here. Ah, this is how he manages to make something in this position. Um, that's annoying. Nope, don't want to hang my queen. Fine, we'll just go back. If that's what makes you happy. Now he's going to do queen there and pretend that I'm not going to... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, really subtle, buddy. Really subtle. Oh, no, I saw the mate threat. Now what are you going to do? Come on. Can we at least be a little bit clever about this? There we go. Yeah, let's help yellow win this. You know? Fine. We'll just retreat with this bishop into the enemy encampment. Um, huh, I guess I'm in last here. All right, we'll just develop a rook. It's really difficult for me to attack blue all the way across the board. Especially without any help whatsoever from yellow. I mean, it did take the one knight, but that was pretty pathetic. Um. All right, so we'll just lift the queen. Not making any threat whatsoever. Yeah, it'd be nice if yellow would help me out with some sort of attack. Okay, what the heck? Are we actually going to give this to yellow? Apparently, that's check. Um, it's hard to believe Blue List let that happen. It's not so hard to believe that Yellow didn't help me out with it. There we go. Hey, wait. Hey, wait, wait. I have an idea. Cooperation. Oh, come on! Another internet disconnection. Lovely. <laughs> of all the times to disconnect. Oh, this is just wonderful. Um, well, we tried. We endeavored. This is not my night. That was not even my fault. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay. You have to wait for the page, because we're not going to kill it. <sighs> well, there go my rating points. 
Yep. Nah, it's only internet rating points. So, um, wow. You know what's the spookiest part about this, right? Yeah, I, I'm sure, yeah, that is beta. Do you guys even see the pop-up? You don't even see the best part of this. Let me see if I can get that to show here. Properties. Um, no, no, no. Oh, wow. Wowzers, does that not even capture anymore? Okay, that's weird. Can I do a display capture or is like my whole computer forked? This might not be an internet issue. This might be my computer's just dying. A slow, painful demise. Um, display capture. Sure. Okay. Can I capture that? Nope. Um, am I just like out of disk space or something stupid like that? I don't know. I've lost my browser. Um, yeah, I would show you the wait dialog, except that was modal and caused my whole browser to disappear there. That was weird. Um, but okay. I get the sense that we're not going to win this game. So, all right. Um, so that was Lee Chess. That was four player chess after that. And then we got BugHouseTest.com, which obviously um, this, this is the premier site for um, BugHouse. Um, there's no way this site would ever crash, right? Oh, but I was going to say the spookiest part about this is we haven't even, um, reached Friday the 13th yet. I mean, we still got, what, how many hours to go? Well, I suppose over, over in jolly old England, they've reached Friday the 13th already. But, um... Yeah, here in the States, it's still not Friday the 13th yet, so, hmm. I can kind of excuse my own play, um, my own not the strongest play ever by the fact that, um, if not, uh, we've had various foods being served at work and such that have not been very healthy so i'm not on my usual diet so i might be a little i don't know not in the ideal health condition to play perfect chess but you know you have to live a little too Oh, at some point, wouldn't it be cool if we could get stockfish opponents in this uh, bug house stuff? Oh man, how difficult would that be? It seems like that would be challenging. And stockfish isn't even the greatest partner, because it doesn't know to wait and sit and stuff. That'd be so great though, if somebody could find a way to make AIs play, um, well, actually, I'm not going to find enough players to do this, am I? But yeah, it'd be great if, um, somebody could find a way for AI bug house tournaments to be arranged. Because last year, you guys remember, we had the Crazy House Chess Championship, and I didn't get to see the games live, unfortunately. I'm not even sure if I ever reviewed the games, um... Let's see, CCVA Crazy House Chess. And we had the Crazy House Chess Variant Association. They ran a tournament last year. Where are the current standings on the... Um, we've got like Crazy House Engines Downloads Rating Lists. What's up on the rating list? 
was the last one of these published? Blitz. Last published last year? Is that right? Rapid. Uh, last published 2016. Standard. 2016. Home. Um, now, how do I get the newest news here? Crazy. Well, yeah, so the newest news on the site was published last year. There might have been updates to some of these pages since last year, but um, wow. I didn't realize just how dead the site was. That's too bad. It was definitely more popular when Moscow was trying to promote his engine. And um, as exciting as it was for Stockfish to win his tournament. Um, yeah, I don't know if he's jazzed about doing another one. I said in jest it'd be interesting to hold a tournament just with all the Crazy House Stockfish engines um, released between last year and this year. And just put them all in one tournament and see which month is the best. Um, you could even do some sort of astrological symbol contest thing and give each one of them one of the 12 astrology signs um, yeah I don't know where to go from here I do suspect and correct me if I'm wrong that somebody else is streaming chess at the moment or is that not the case um, could just be yeah okay I was right that makes sense um, yeah I'm not sure they have anything more to share on the chess front then because I'm not gonna manage to get enough people to do bug house test I could do at least a chess pursuit here so we got bughousetest.com slash 404 page not found chess pursuit surrender black king your army is defeated and your queen is mine you thought to bring two knights to battle. You are surrounded and accept defeat now and be merciful. Never. We're not going to accept defeat as you wish. I'm taking a prisoner back to the castle. Knights, capture him and I want him alive. Ah, here we go. The best chess game. I'd like to see a script automate this uh, the play of this game. I mean, I know you don't have to take all the pawns, but I remember on one occasion I did manage to crash this game somehow, and I don't recall how I did it. But that would be all the kinds of luck that we need tonight now, wouldn't it? I think I went too far up the board and confused... Um the game about uh, trying to make a move that would be illegal except for the piece that would be making it illegal hadn't been rendered yet. So I can't take any of this stuff just yet. Well, I tried to take everything. I wonder how close you can get to taking... Like, there's some things which obviously cannot be captured, but... Um, I wonder how many of these things you can capture. These uh, stages get more challenging and require you to proceed with a little bit of finesse.
All right, and then we got the knights. Oh man, these knights make one hell of a wall. Oh, so I'm forced to capture those knights, and then those knights I also have to capture. Um, well, uh, have I effed up here? Oops. Well, rip me. I tried. I tried so hard and got so far. And in the end, it didn't really matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, did it really matter? Alright, so I guess back to Lee Chess. If only to wrap things up here. Um, let's try one more Blitz. Can I do better? Probably. Um, but we'll find out. Eh, forget Blitz. Let's do Bullet. One bullet game to lose all my rating points by accident. Hmm. Seems like nobody's playing one minute. Strange. You'd think that there would be somebody on the internet Specifically on Lee Chess, lined up to play one minute. You'd be mistaken. Is this like Lee Chess way of cutting me off and saying, you know, you might have played too much tonight already? Oh, there's no Go Berserk button. What a pity. Alright, Smith Mora. Oh. The boring line. Okay. I'll take that. Uh, okay. Uh, no tactics here. Apparently. Uh, let's take that. And then definitely not set up any tactic there or here or anywhere. Um, just good, clean development. All right, so yeah, that's why you develop your pieces. Um, all right, so that's a forced sacrifice. Um, let's just go back. And then he plays the bishop to hit the queen or something and just continue going back. Okay, you want stuff? You can take my pawn. Oh, he's not wanting my pawn. Not badly enough to give up his rook anyway. All right, let's just develop this and this. Um, okay, might as well defend the d-pawn, right? Okay, let's take this. Oh, I'm down to like no time. Well, that's okay. I can still win this. Phew! Thank goodness I remembered that we were playing Bullet. Alright, one more? Uno mas! Um, except that's supposed to take me back to the lobby. Okay, maybe my mouse was just acting up or something. Or maybe my internet connection is just like super unreliable at the moment. Either way, we'll call the next one the last game. So, yeah, thanks to everybody for stopping by. <laughs> it's been quite the session here. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is messy. Or this could have been much messier than it ended up being. Okay, fine. You don't want to take my stuff, I'll take your stuff. And then just develop my queen, you know, to good square. Well, that's weird. Why would you do that? 
I'm kind of joking, but not really. Lax development just seems like super weird here. Like, I know I play weird moves, but Black seems to have taken this to a new level. Um, okay, fine. I guess I'll give myself an escape square. Okay, and then we gotta defend the rook. GG, man. GG. <sighs> Whew. What a game. Let's analyze it, you know? Because that's necessary. Um, unfortunately, it kind of is, just given the level of nonsense that took place this game. I'm not so sure about Queen H5 in retrospect. Um, I mean, it seemed cool. Oh, I should have just taken g5. That's, like, the whole point of the analysis here. Is, like, I take on g5 and basically win the game immediately. Um. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Do I offer lessons on code? Um, I don't think I do. Um. I mean, I publish all the source code changes I make. It's all open source. Um, but I don't think I actually teach people, like, here's how you put your semicolons at the end of a statement, and here's what a for loop does, and that sort of thing. Um, I don't think I do that sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure that I could teach it any better than other people could. That's the issue there. I mean, I'd be willing to give it a shot or something, maybe, but I don't see at all, like, what value I could add. Um, there's plenty of online resources that can help people get coding. Um, it's kind of like asking, do you offer lessons on how to um, do English grammar analysis or something? I don't know, coding is just a means to an end. Um, there's like software design and all that fun stuff too that really is where um, yeah, so do I teach like system design or database design or that sort of thing? I don't, that, that takes like if I were to do that I would have to be doing it in a university setting. And until, like, some university asks me to do it, um, and I don't know why they would, it, it doesn't seem to make sense for me to do such an offering. I've taken classes at a university setting on these subjects, but I'm not sure that they'd want me to teach that sort of thing. And I'm not sure that, like, I know there's online courses on a variety of subjects, but... MIT OpenCourseWare is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I can do to help people with that um, in a way that would make sense for everybody. So... Is there anything else for me to analyze in this game, I wonder? Like, okay, here's our evaluation graph where I'm, like, winning, and then winning again, and then winning a third time, and then dead lost. Where did I lose this? Oh. Where was the winning move here? Uh, <laughs> turns out that rookie two is perhaps not the best move on the board. Perhaps better is checkmate. Um... You know, I guess I could agree with that, maybe. Um, yeah. Like, if and universities in general, it's very political. 
Um, I'm not sure if I have a more polite way to describe it, but I've seen universities do terrible things with faculty. Um, so I'm not having a high level of confidence that universities can get past their own politics to, I don't know. But yeah, in an ideal world, I would be teaching it that sort of thing. It could be fun, but um, there's just an incredible amount of politicking that takes place there, which unfortunately means that like, unless I somehow like start my own online university or something like that, I don't even know how I would do it, but um, if that could be done and there weren't any kind of crazy politicking involved, then who knows? Um, yeah. <laughs> Although, I'm just surprised, like, Rookie 2 puts me at minus 6 somehow. I guess, um, the point is that Black just takes my Rook on C8. Like, that would be the same thing to do. You just take there, and White just doesn't have anything. It looks really scary because, like, Black's Rook is loose, Black's King is open, his Queen is attacked, but there's really nothing White can do to exploit all of these things, which is pretty spectacular. But instead, Black decides to save the Queen, and this is the move I expected, and I just play G3, and it's kind of messy. Um, although, truth be told, I didn't see Queen G5 like I don't know I just felt like I had a perpetual and then it turns out that that wasn't actually a perpetual um yeah I don't know I tend to think that this analysis engine doesn't have any feelings if it had feelings uh, the moves it recommends it would not be recommending um like here it just says you know just play king h1 Would you play King H1 here? I, I really don't think that this analysis engine has any feelings. Um, some might disagree, but pretty sure it doesn't have any feelings. If it did, it, they would have been beaten out of it long ago for it to be able to see any of this. So, um... Yeah, that's us analyzing the bullet game. This one got way out of control. Uh, but somehow I still won it, so yay. We're still not back up at 2100 yet. It'll come eventually, but not tonight. Maybe some other time. Um, also, at some time, I really do need to get back and analyze my games for my last over-the-board tournament. Um... So hopefully I can manage to find time to do that soon. I think the analyses will go much quicker than last time, but I guess we'll see. In the meantime, um, you know, if I had a pithy saying, I would probably lead with it, but I don't. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.